Okay, is this like, have you done like Instagram live before? Or is this like the first one for you? Nahi, I think you're the first. Wow. That's why it That's... took me time. I couldn't, I didn't know how to get on. I was like, I'm so lost. I feel so honored. I feel so honored. So, you are the first. Wow, Baruch Hashem. It feels so good to be here. Um, okay, so um, for starters, we're very excited about this upcoming concert, May 28th um, in New yeah. Jersey, Friendship Circle. Um, People can buy tickets at fcconcert.com. So for starters, that's that. I want to ask you, there's there's something that um, when you perform that is very noticeable, and that <laughs> is your stage presence. Your stage presence is, is one that is very, very strong, and you look very comfortable up there. I'm curious, and I don't have any intel around this. Maybe I've heard some things, murmurs. Have you ever taken any acting lessons uh, to become more comfortable on stage? That's got to be the most easiest question I've been asked in 40 years. Really? Because the answer is no. no. What? I just, I, just, I just go with, you know what? I just feel it and go with the flow. And sometimes I say, you know, maybe I should have been a little more prepared with a move here, a move there. But then, it doesn't, it doesn't, then it'll be just, you know, fake. I just go with the flow. I, I feed off the crowd. And thank God it, no one's complaining. <laughs> yeah. No. No one's complaining, well, so thank you. It was God. really, yeah. So it seems, I guess, it's all it's all natural. That's that's yeah. pretty unique, pretty unique trait to have. I guess, like, it would be it would be very awkward if you were like an insurance agent, and you would have to you'd have all this like amazing uh, acting skills. Well, Nachi, I'll tell you something. I just thought of something as as we're talking. You know, back in the day when I started, nobody was dreaming of voice lessons. Mm -hmm. Who was take Who was taking voice right. lessons? Right. Nobody, nobody. You had your raw talent, and that's what you sang with. Today, you won't find any singer in the business not taking voice lessons. So I'm actually surprised that no one took it to the next step to learn how to, you know, how to do with your hands on stage, where to do this, where to do that. But I, I, I imagine that's going to be happening very soon. Where right. The guys will take it, take it to the next step and come out there all polished with moves and things, and hey, you never know. You think that's going to happen i wonder well i think that's the next step after voice lessons so someone's going to start with it very soon i'm sure yeah i hear you okay i guess i guess we'll yeah. see so 40 years you know i remember doing um i remember being at a concert of yours so i think was celebrating 25 years mm, i remember that. Me, first of all, do you remember you've been performing for quite a while do you remember your concerts do you like remember only, I, only the good ones only the good ones only the good ones they remember all of them don't you the bad ones the bad, <laughs> bad ones i remember painfully but i do remember them yeah how can you how can you forget the painful ones i right? know right but so I remember, Hashem, I think, not yeah. many of those so the pain is the chesed yeah or, so, I, I think it was i think it was like in was it in brooklyn college or queen's college one of those 25 years was it i think i think it was brooklyn college i think see the place i don't remember but uh yeah that was a Special show, Baruch Hashem. And here we are for a couple of years 15 later. 15 years and, uh, later. Baruch Hashem, still, um, still doing it. It's incredible. By the way, I feel like there's, there's still so much more that I want to sing about. I just wish I'd get around to it sooner. But I feel like we're just getting started. What is it now? About? I just think that the singers today have such a chrayas, such a great potential. A good song can, can, can change people's lives today. And you see it. I hear it all the time. Yeah. Um, today's messages are very powerful and very uplifting. Um, so I think the, the achrayas and the responsibility is even greater now than, you know, back in the day it was, okay, and, you know, nice songs. Today they're looking for keep climbing and, and you know, Ayyid never breaks. And they need these messages like that to give them koyach to face their, their daily lives. And I think that it's become a great um, challenge now to do that. Hundreds. Give hope to be, be inspired and be inspiring. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm rich, um, 40 more years of, of your oh, music just man. getting started. Okay. Um, I, want, I want to ask you, you know, there's, it's well known that you travel a lot and you visit, you know, kids in hospitals who are maybe, you know, not doing so well and you'll sing for them. And that could be a little heavy, you know, seeing young children in, um, in these situations and then maybe sometimes hours later you're going to be singing for tens of thousands of people being with some of them or singing by a wedding um what's that what's what's it like sort of bridging that gap going from a, a scenario where um 
you're seeing someone who's down and 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 not in good health to then being at the happiest moment for someone's life at a wedding do you listen to music to get yourself ready for that how do, how do you uh, i guess switch gears you know sometimes that does happen where i go from a hospital visit to a concert shortly thereafter maybe the next day or even even the same day and um i don't remember ex exactly but the live version of abba that's on yeah. youtube I I got a little emotional there. I almost lost it. I had to fight, you know, not to totally lose it. Something triggered that. And it might be that a day before I went to see a kid in Eretz Yisrael who was not doing well or um a very painful situation. So I wasn't just, you know, crying for no reason. It was right. uh, per perhaps for that reason. Uh that's and that, that, that is very difficult. It's, and also it's hard to 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 find the simcha, the energy, the joy, the Because you got to go out like this, you know the saying goes the show's got to go on the show must go yeah. on so people people don't want to hear you if you're in a bad mood because you saw somebody in the hospital but um so you got to just I call it DDD dig down deep really and and bring it out got no choice well you I think we we discussed it in the past but abba has become one of those songs and I know that um you you, you mentioned briefly how singers have to cries nowadays because you're not just it's not such as music it's it's you're imparting messages you know a lot of the CDs a lot of the albums that singers including yourself put out nowadays almost belong in the farm section in Judaica stories because of the messages they're imparting abba um left a, it was a special a special place in your heart because of what was taking place at the moment in the world yeah um, and also nach it's it's I'm, i'm amazed how abba has become a world a world class song even yeah. amongst non non Eden um I, I was invited to come sing in Poland I forgot the name of the place I've never been there before um it's a cultural event it brings 3000 people and like Yuval says 3000 people and not one minion it's all non Jews that come to this cultural event really and what got them to invite me there are other singers there non-jewish singers groups and then the solo performers i do my thing and i leave um they don't even speak english but they say to me abba 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 <laughs> that's the song that's the song that got them even though, 100%. Even though, they even though they don't understand the word that i'm talking about yeah um so i guess that's just the the, the soul screaming out abba to our father in heaven such a raw face to face kind of intimate you know relationship that think people people locked into that and tuned into that just talk to Hashem like he's your father not just because it says in the sitter of Vinu Malkenu just talk to him and say Abba I need you I need a, I need a hug you know it's things are tough a little bit so uh yeah Abba became a huge huge hit universal hit yeah uh you, you know you really have you've been an inspiration and you set you set the table for many singers uh, that are currently oh, that are currently in the field Build many I think a couple of which Mr. Shem will uh will hear from tonight. I know there's Nice. Yeah, nice. I hope By the way, Nachi, I you kept using the word Achrayus which I use. Yeah. I think Achrayus is the right word. I think um maybe a duty or maybe um the honor the 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 potential to influence so many people now. Maybe that's a better word than Achrayus. Achrayus sounds a little bit like uh, you know this i think is it, sorry, it's like a negative context yeah, yeah 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 singers today have a koya let's use that word koya koya they have a koya to inspire so we got to do our job is responsibility a good word also or is that also like kind of negative no not responsibility i think we have the koya we have the ability we have 100%. the great fortune to be in, to, to inspire people and change their lives by one line in a song it's, it's quite mind blowing it's really yeah. amazing um I, I want to ask you um 40 years of music and meaning what is that what does that mean to you when you hear that title which is the title of what we're discussing tonight is the title of the concert you're going to be giving what does that what does that mean to you <clears throat> I've always been very careful to sing songs that have meaning uh cuz there's plenty of music out there that's just music you know good music or not good music but the idea as a yeah. Hasidic singer as a Jewish singer should be songs with meaning now again Kela Haidois is from from Davening 
Yeah. I'm talking about the songs where I have a chance to say what, what's on my heart. The English songs, the Yiddish songs. Over, over the years, each album has at least one English song or one Yiddish song. That's where I get to say and sing what I want to sing about, not just because there's a text in the Siddur or in Tillam. Um So songs with meaning, like I said, always to be positive. Mm -hmm. You know, the Rebbe taught all of us that. Just be positive, uh, be uplifting, be supportive. And that's what I've been trying to do. I'm still trying to do that as, as every day goes by. You know, as, as I said, we're, we hope to bring on different singers. One of them um, we hope to bring on right now, uh, Mordechai Shapiro. Who, uh, and we definitely I inspired. I hope we're going to see him in just a second. Morty, are you there? He's better. He's better than I am. He'd get down on the second. <laughs> Look at that. Good to know. Good to know. Hello. You tell me. I'm What's going on? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to Nachi. What's going on? What's happening? <laughs> and so, I, you know what? I came on to Instagram and I saw <laughs> you guys are live and I wanted to listen. And I said, You're coming on. I said, what, what? No, no, I'm not coming on. This is a very most show. Come on, he sent me a thing. I said, okay, okay, I'll be here. Morty, I want, I want, on. I want to set the table, and I'm sure we're going to have others as well, but thank you, Morty, for being the Nox show and coming on. What is your, I guess, your favorite of Remel memory? Growing up, I'm, you know, I've, I've, I've interviewed both of you for the podcast. I know, Morty, that you listened to Avramel growing up. What is, I guess, the Avramel moment that comes to your mind when, when you think of 40 <laughs> years of music? I think I am most mesmerized with 40 years of no ah, ego. Easy for you to say. <laughs> 40 years, I mean, again, I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not even 40. Yeah, I'm, working, I'm working on it. So, I'm on this slow. I'm working on it, though. But I'm working on it. <laughs> I think I, 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 I was trying to, I'm trying to think of like a specific moment, but really, but really there's no specific moment. It's just... I, I'm just in awe because it's not, it's not Stam and it's not easy to be in this spotlight and to deal with, with what we deal with, to travel, to, to, to perform, um, even to visit, even to, it, it, there's probably more of an ego when you do more chasadim, things that people don't know about. Sometimes there's more ego, there's more challenge Nisoyen for ego when you go visit somebody privately. You know, and, and and of course, there's, there's nothing wrong with feeling good about doing mitzvahs, but Avraham is such a way, and he's and he's really showed us whether he knows it or not how to do it with class, how to realize that this is that it, everything is their bonus shalom. Einod mavada is all Hashem, and we're just we're just we're just shluchim. That's it, and it's real. Wow. I'm actually oh, wow. I'm actually going to the oil in a few minutes. Beautiful, That's amazing. Um, uh, Remo, uh, I'm, I'm curious if, you know, before we let Morty go, because the oil is definitely a little more important than this, but, um, you know, <laughs> you are, you've been in the business a long time. Morty's been in also for, for a while, but I guess he's closer to the beginning than, uh, than you are. From one singer who's, I guess, a vet, who's been in the business for a long time, to another singer who's, you know, in it right now, what, what advice? Would you would you give it to Morty, you know, in the field? Uh oh, I'm giving advice. I mean, I must be very old. I'm giving <laughs> advice. By the way, I saw a great line the other day. The guy says to his friend, "I could see the light at the end of the tunnel." And his friend turns to him and said, "Think about it. That is so cruel. Why would the light be at the end of the tunnel, not at the beginning of the tunnel?" <laughs> yeah, that's a good line. Great line. Great line. So, Mordechai, uh, I wish you that you should see the light at the beginning of the tunnel. And you are, and you're using that light, and you're spreading joy and simcha and hope. And you're, like I said, today's singers are like, uh, you know, have a koyach more than any, you know, maybe anybody else. Uh, with one line, with one good word in a song, we can change people's lives. And I'm sure you've seen it and you've heard it. So, um, like you said, just remember that we're shluchim and we're trying to inspire and uplift a fellow yid. That's what it's all about. And if we have one yid or two yid, I mean, who's counting? That's what mm -hmm. makes, that makes our day. You know, just keep it up. And Mikhail El Choyel, keep climbing and keep belting it out with your great energy. And I hope to see you soon on the stage and make some yid happy. It's a shame. It's, 
It's mamish. It's beautiful. And thank you. And that's that is what it's all about. Because even recently, I mean, not to, not, I'm gonna uh, sometimes you get lost in the music, and you get lost as like an artist. What am I doing next? Where am I going? And I'm sure. I don't know, maybe you've had moments like this too, a Yiddish album, a, an Israeli album, and English songs, Hebrew songs, everything's evolving. Where am I going? What am I doing? But to just remember that I'm just a shliach, and of course I need to have this shmaya, and, and, and sometimes I sit, and the song is there, and sometimes I sit, and it's not there, and you wonder why. Why, am I, why? Hashem, I just want to give. I'm sitting by the piano, just give it to me. But just to realize... Oh. It's there when it's supposed Somebody. to be there. And it's sorry, all about... Finish, finish, I'm sorry. No, that it's all about the shlichas, and it's not about me. It's not about, it's not about me. Take away the ani, and just remember just that it's week. about the, the shlichas. Just last week, Bring Hashem it. showed me that, uh, you know, you can never know. We're not in charge. How do you show me that? I had a couple of gigs last week after Lag Boimer, and I came down with a cold. I'm still fighting the cold. I had no voice for two days. I lost a couple of gigs. So, so uh, Hashem, you know, first he booked me. <laughs> Let's not forget that. First he booked me, and then he unbooked me. I said, okay, what, what am I going to do? <laughs> so, thank God more bookings and cancellations, so I'm not complaining. But another, another aspect of how it's not I, it's, it's how, he, how he pushes the buttons. And, you know, we're human beings. Sometimes we have it, sometimes we don't. When we do have it, we take it for granted. And, um, you know, so the cookie crumbles. That's how that's how it goes. Yeah, really is amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, and please keep us in mind at the oil. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Good luck. I got you. I got you. I got you. Take care. Nice, yeah, nice surprise, Nachi. Yeah, nice we got more coming. We got more for you. Don't worry. I want to remind everybody they can buy tickets for this upcoming concert. A Rem will be will be celebrating forty years of music that's fcconcert.com that's fcconcert.com definitely head over there and buy a ticket we are now going to be joined by somebody else um who's been in the industry for quite a while um oh, who's should, I even tell, should i even tell you or should i surprise you who's that how many years has he been in the business you're asking me i don't know he's been i, I know he was in like half two and, and you know what he's here yitzi waldner how are you um, Yitzhi, I want to ask you, uh, Avramel's been in, in the in industry for 40 years. Is there, in Avramel moment, a song, a performance, or something that sticks out to you that you'd say, ah, oh, this sums up 40 years of Avram Free's music? Oh, I, I can answer that. Then this is Malkenu. He's the Melech over here, mm. 40 years. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Well, my favorite song I've said this in the past is Forever oh. It's just Yossi Green. Uh, Yossi Green. Delicious. Delicious. Yossi nice. hooked me on that one. Nice. Um, my favorite moment, listen, let me tell you something. I, I remember how long did we how long were we working? Seven, eight years about, I would say. Not long so, enough. Not long, long enough. Yeah. Mr. Shem, many more Mr. Shem. So I remember when I got the text, you know, we can make this meeting and, and I thought maybe I'll have to go to Brown Heights, which I did anyway, but I remember came to me the first time and I was a little I don't want to say intimidated because Brother Shem I know all the singers and we have great relationships. But I wasn't sure what to expect because I grew up to his music and I wasn't sure I might be able to write for him. And I was a little bit, I don't want to say nervous, but whatever the case is, I opened the door and in walked this, the most humble person, Ayvid Hashem, unbelievable. I think we spoke for two hours before I even turned on the keyboard, just about all kinds of Ashkafa and everything. So that really summed up to me all his music. Really, really Tachi Kabari. And it's, it's, it's fascinating and just unbelievable. When you really get to know who this person is, it's mamish, mamish, amazing, and I love. Every I'm curious, second how, how did how did it should have come to be between Avramel, yep. between you and Fever, I think, am I right? Avramel, yeah, I remember. I remember. I think it's Yassi I, 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 I called you, but I knocked. Yes, I was. I didn't call you. Text me. You texted me. I was sitting. I'm dinner with my family. I am free here. Do you have any time to sit down and write music? I'm like, whoa. Okay. You know, I, I mean, I've worked some work with many popular singers. I'm, everyone knows my history with Yaakov, et cetera, et cetera. But this was yes. like, whoa, okay, I grew up like this to this with his music. So I was a little bit uh, intimidated. Not intimidated. By, by just, the way, Yitzi, I, it's no secret that a lot of songs out there are pre-yachot. It's your writing and your inspiration.
inspiration that you're sharing with the world. So, call a kavod to you. I wish you continue. I wish you a ksiva vachsin matoyva. Keep writing this stuff. <laughs> Oh, very good. And, uh, I like that. Very good. And, uh, I've never heard that before. Is that, yeah, is that yeah, like a joke in the writer's world? I say it to all the writers, yeah, all the composers. And uh, keep, keep giving us good stuff to dance to and to cry to and to be inspired by and, and amen, just amen. keep it up. Amen. Chef, continue to give you the chef of the chef amen, of amen, amen, the amen, amen, amen. As, long as, and continue. as long as your, your call keeps going, chazak, 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 moed, we'll keep writing, Mr. Shem. If yeah, anybody yeah. can see the voice, we'll give us the ability to, uh, to write, Mr. Shem. Amen, many, amen. many more years many more years okay oh man i guess i'm just getting started yeah just, just getting, getting started, started. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah okay that's I, great i'm actually just trying to get started but yeah <laughs> hey that, that's a good attitude yeah it's a good attitude a thank you thank you so much you see my pleasure thank you so much i get yom and i'll see you by the mountain oh man oh man yes because it's like baby bye-bye Everyone was the fifth four, 40 years in, in the industry or is any new music that you're working on that's coming soon? Anything that you want to I tease? am, I am. I just met with Yitzi last week or a week and a half ago. We're trying to finish we, up the album. What are we working <laughs> on? What are we working on? My new CD that I'm working on for 10 years. 10 years. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. A lot of years. I mean, you're kidding, kidding, but it's probably nine years. It's, no, <laughs> it could be seven, but uh, uh, I'm not putting it out till I get, till I feel I have solid, solid, solid material from one to 12. Really, you know, so um, so I went to Yitzi and we worked, and um, there's still some work to be done, but I'm working, try to put the CD out once and for all. How do you how do you sit on you know for me when it become when it comes to let's say putting out interviews or or something like that? I the second I record an interview I love, I want to just put it out two days later. I can't imagine being able to record something that is fire and amazing and say okay, well. Now I got to sit on it for five, six years. And... That's, that's, very, that's very true. But the good news is, Emir Tzashem, very soon, very soon we are releasing, we are releasing a, a song, a music video from one of the songs from the new album. I'm not, not giving away the name, but stay tuned for a music video to come out very soon, Emir Tzashem. Music video. And I, oh, okay. I think you'll like it. Yes, yes, yes. I think you will like it and people will like it. It's a nice chiddush. I will say it's a Yossi Green song. Uh... And I uh, hope, like, like I said, you, like you said, it's hard to keep it contained, but uh, we're almost finished with the video, so we're getting there. Amazing, amazing. I, we have questions coming in. People are texting okay. me, people are writing in. Okay. So I'm just okay. trying to gather it all. Good. Uh, somebody asks over here, um, with the continued evolution of Jewish music, has it been more difficult connecting with the younger generation for you? Um, no, no. I think uh, I think the music connects with everyone. I don't like using the very modern sounds today. Uh, I don't think I have to. Um, you know, if you have something that works, then stick with it. I think it works for all for all genres and all all ages. As long as the message is good, um, I think I think it should work. I think I think the singer has to give the people what he feels they should hear as opposed to um, changing styles or changing uh, just to appeal to a, uh, to a certain crowd. Right. You gotta, you gotta stick with your, stick with your sound. A hundred percent. No, I, I totally, I totally hear that. I think we're going to get into some trivia right now. Okay. We're going to, we're going to try to give away uh, two tickets to this concert. Um, there's a question that I have in front of me. It might be to, Difficult. <laughs> it's not be too difficult. Let's see, if uh, I know. Let's, let's see if I know the answer. Let's see. Okay, so whoever can write the answer to this question first in the comments over here below will win two questions. Will win two tickets to the concert. The question is as follows: The album Chazak. Name three of the composers on that album. Ooh. Okay. Well, you can't answer it, obviously, because I'm sure that you know. Awesome. But if somebody who's listening, there's a, right now almost 200 people on here. If nice. any of you 200 can um, can get that answer, you'll win two tickets to this concert. Um, do you know the answer, I'm, I'm th I think I know, yeah. I think I know. You th think? Yeah, I think I, <laughs> I think I got it, yeah. Oh my goodness! With only, three, um, with only three composers on that album, are you sure? 
we just need people to know. So someone commented Green, Laufer, and Freed. I did half got Freed. But then there's a fourth one, no? By the way, what no, is the No, but we just cousin? need we just need someone to name three. Ah, okay, so he's right. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So we are gonna give two I think there's more. I think there's more. What are the songs on, on Hazak? Do you remember? Do I remember? Hazak hmm. Hazak Hazak was Laufer. Yeah. Uh, Hashata was, was mine. What about Is that on their album? You're, you're asking me I'm if asking I know you. what was on Kazakh. You didn't do your homework. <sighs> I think I think is on that album. Who composed Maidani? Ask that question. Ask, ask that question. Who composed that song? Who compo okay. Who composed Modaani? That's a really good question. Yeah. That's a really good question. I think we have. So first of all, um, I want to just say that yeah. who won? the, the uh, city auto collision. You <laughs> can mess. You can. So he said, I think Lapido. Did Lapido? Yes. Uh, okay. Correct. City auto collision. There was a lot about you. Shlomi Dax also responded. Shlomi Dax said, "Yishe Lapido." Um, but, but, but Menashe, Menashe Tritel says that Modani wasn't on Chazak. Ah, that could be. <laughs> I know there was a slow one. That's Yassi Green, beautiful song. Uh, what else was on there? Live in your mean, live in a slaufer. Yeah, amazing. Uh, I want to I wanna bring on now someone who, um, who I actually had on my podcast last week. She's a Basi Thrall who sings for, for women and she inspires many, many, many ah. uh, th through her music. Her name is Shaney Plonsker. I know she's a very big fan of, of your music. That's so nice. so uh, nice. let's bring on Shaney Plonsker. How are you? Hello. This is a surprise. This is a real surprise. A surprise to me also. Nachi says, you want to come on? I said, do I want to come on? What an honor. What an honor. Nice. nice. Um, I, I missed I missed whatever introduction you said, so I'm sorry. So Chandy, I'll tee you up. I'll tee you up for a question on here. First of all, big mouse up to you on your engagement. We're all very very, very happy for you. Oh, Avramo so, can't wait to be there at the wedding singing. Um dream come true. <laughs> that would be a dream nice. come true. Nice. When I, I wanna add the wedding, you, Mitzvah Shem. When yeah. is the wedding? Uh July. July, Mitzvah Shem. Very soon. Nope. Michelle Tavon Mitzlachas. Amazing. Thank you. So I'm actually I'm a I'm a real what I call Everyone that uh, I share my music with knows how big of an influence you are um, in, you know, the music that I put out and in the intention behind it. Um, and I, I actually met you a while ago and I told you that the, um, so, so, sometimes it's, you know, we don't want to say because you hear it all the time, uh, as Mordechai Shapiro just said it as well. But when some, you know, someone has everyone saying the same thing, it's because it's so true. Um, the incredible intention and humility that you have behind everything that you do and every word that comes out of your mouth, it just comes through to the audience. And I think even when Nachi, when you were asking him, you know, about changing for the younger generation, the reason I think nothing has to change is because it's all straight from the Shama. And it's, mm. uh, that's something that it's a major inspiration to me. I've adopted your, um, your uh, minag of giving tzedakah before getting on stage. Uh, and, and after. And after. And after, and after yeah. every time, every time, sometimes I'll, I, I don't always have a physical push because so sometimes I'll just say to someone, do you have anyone that needs money? Beautiful. <laughs> um, Beautiful. And really, I just want to say before you ask me any trivial question, which I'm a little scared what I'm getting myself into, um, really thank you for, for everything that you, that you do and that, uh, that the, the thousands and thousands of people you've influenced over the years and that you continue to influence. I'm going to be at the concert in Ritzah Shem. Beautiful. Uh, and I'm oh, very man. excited. Okay, so if you're gonna be at the concert, we're not gonna we're not even gonna ask you any trivia because it's not fair. I mean, you know, you're gonna you're gonna be there anyways. But I want to ask you if there's one Avremel moment, you know, 40 years of music, I've been free, <laughs> inspiring and, and and singing. If there's one moment um, that that jumps out to you, or it's maybe a song. What what comes to your mind? So you know, I have probably the worst memory in the entire world, and whenever anyone asks me anything about a specific moment, my entire mind goes blank. But it's yeah. very interesting because. You were saying a lot about the English songs that you put out and how those are, and I could relate because I, you know, I also, I write um, my own music and um, the, the, the English songs I know for me come sometimes at three o'clock in the morning from the hardest or the most beautiful times. And um, I think more than anything, your English, your English songs really, really grab a hold of me specifically. Don't hide from me has always been, I think 
a song that I just, it goes straight in. Um, and interestingly enough, I think it was about two years ago, I just got very hooked back into Keep Climbing. Um, I think that it's a song with a message that everybody needs to hear on a constant basis. And like I think you said, you know, we've, we've become a generation where we're looking for chizak all the time. And that song is so gentle and so comforting. Mm. And it helped me through a lot of hard times. And um, I performed Tell me one, Nice. Tell me one title of one of your English songs. <laughs> one of my English songs is called Holding On. Beautiful. And it's, uh, it's, it's a very basic song, but it pretty much just speaks about, um, basic is you know, good. Basic, basic is, is good. good. The, yeah. the English, one of the English parts is when the pain is so complete and the heartache is so true, I surrender God, I give it up to you. Mm. Just, you know, and then the end part is I'm holding on because you're holding me. Um, you know, just, just, just basic amuna and basic belief. Or well, sometimes when things are a little bit too hard for us physically to get through, we have the ability to just say Hashem. I, I'm giving it to you. I, I need you to hold this for me. Like, you know, and that's you know what you know what my biggest challenge is. I I try to stay away from singing song like singing lyrics like when the pain is so complete. Hundred percent. Um, yeah, I, I don't like singing about pain because we've cried so many tears. I hear that. I hear. And that. it's got it's gotten us nowhere. It's True. gotten us <laughs> nowhere. We're still crying, but um, you know. So I try to try to find the positive in somehow in, in the pain. 100. But uh, maybe I've used pain in the past that I, I don't like using, you know, oh, we're, we're in such trouble. Please help us. That doesn't do it I definitely for me hear that. anymore. It doesn't do I it definitely for me. hear that. I definitely, it's like, definitely we're ready. We're here. We're good. We deserve better. That's what, that's what I would like to look, look at it. Um, the, pain, the, pain, the pain and the tears hasn't gotten us anywhere. So the shame that you have your work cut out for you gotta you gotta that's it, that's it. We're gonna take that song in positive, positive, positive. No, positive. no, fuck care. You gotta keep just climbing. Keep yeah, climbing. keep climbing. Climbing. Thank you, thank you so much. Sure. Thank you so much for joining. Uh we are gonna and a move. and a billion adayad. Thanks for coming on. Hey, thank you. Okay, so I think we have one or two more people that are going to join, and we're going to wrap this up so you can get to your Matzah Shabbos routine. Mama Malka, yeah, I'm waiting. I'm dressed with Mama Malka. I know, I know. Um, but one of the people that we want to bring up right now is going to be actually at this concert um, on stage, Mirz Shem, with you, and that is another young member of the music industry that is Simcha Liner. Uh, Simcha, it's so, so happy to have you join us tonight. Simcha, uh, Simcha, Simcha, Simcha. Uh, get the vach. How are we moment. doing? <laughs> oh wow is that for Muslim. sale are you like pitching like the artist for that no, i'm just sharing my my connection with, with the, I, have with the... I have a picture here too can you see it i can it's rebbe giving me yeah. like a honey cake <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah that's beautiful that's, that's beautiful well, simple liner this is Avon creed Avon creed this is simple nice. liner you guys are too simcha. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's been too long. Simcha, there's you a sounded great question. When I last heard you. you sounded great when I last heard you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. There's a question I'm asking pretty much everyone that's been coming on. Um, and obviously, fcconcert.com, an amazing concert coming up. Where we're celebrating 40 years of a Remel in the music industry. Um, is, there, is there a song or is there a moment from Avon Freed's career that stands out to you of like, oh my gosh, you know, this is, this is like the pinnacle for me. Heavy well, question, Simcha, heavy question. Answer yeah. with care. <laughs> you, you've heard my response a few times, Abraham. So this is a, this is going to be, you know, um, so uh, first of all, the first time I heard Rabbi Abraham is when I was listening to the uh, Hakshiva solo and Pirche sings Alpha Messiah, that album, 1972, 73. That was like the first time that I understood about Abraham, the godless. Of Rebbe Remel. Whoa. Um, I remember it like it was yesterday. Not much like it was yesterday. I think, but uh, I, think I, was, I think I was Friedman back then. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, since then, no, I, I've said this many times on stage. Um, and uh, obviously, if you say it on stage, you mean it. Of right? course. That's where any, anyone uh, can attest to. No, I, I've said this privately, and that's the most important thing, is that What you see from a Ravemel on stage is the exact same person that's off stage. And uh, you've been a tremendous inspiration for me and uh, for many, many, many years. But that's almost anyone in 
the business will, will say that, that you've been an inspiration to us. But I've had the opportunity to see when you didn't know that I was seeing, you know, and there were, there were moments when I was starting out that I overheard phone conversations between someone that was asking Herbal Bremel about me. And uh, you said just the perfect words, you know, there was a, there's the politically correct thing to say, and then there's the things that you said. And uh, that was, uh, for me, the first boost of confidence I ever had. So that was a, a very special Beautiful. moment for me. Beautiful. Now, you know, all the questions that you've asked the guests that have come on, they end up giving me eulogies. They're not discussing oh. my music, not discussing <laughs> my, my voice, my, my interpretation of a song. They're talking about my middays, my, 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 my humility. <laughs> come on, guys, no eulogies. Talk about the music. <laughs> it's kind of nice, no, though, no? You know, we always, the art school books come for people nice. after they're gone. But, you of know, we have, to, we have to recognize greatness when it's standing right in front uh, of us. That's what we're of, doing. Course it's, of course it's nice, but I'd rather stick to the music. <laughs> <laughs> Simple, is there, is there, a, is there a, a favorite song uh, of, of Remo's that? A, a favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think there's, there's more like a favorite era, you know, like a, it's yeah. from basically 1989 till today. Mm. which is like uh, the, the moment that I was born, I think uh, th this was the music that I was playing. So that is uh, the music that I grew up with and um, I'm still growing too. So uh, Good. This, is, this is really- Look, are, you, are you a politician? No, absolutely not. <laughs> You're knocking your questions out of the park. You were born in 89, you think? I was so born in 89. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, this, was, this was my, uh, this is a, it, it, it's unique to be able to, experience the music of your childhood in a in a way that continues to evolve and change like there's very few people that i listened to growing up that are still putting out new music and fresh music and setting the new standard and the new we're we're, we're all wow, running beautiful. slow motion behind whatever Remo is doing like going uh, i think we can do something like that kind. i think we can do something like that you know <laughs> that's very kind so, that's very kind so 89 that was already after no Jew, time is now. That was, we are by God. Ready came out right before. Love him. We are right ready. Oh, nice. Born. And then Taka, the world is ready. So I, I, I made my appearance. Mm. Yeah. I yeah. think it was yep, yep. talking about Mashiach, though. So I, I, I take back. <laughs> You're I kidding. Back. I think about Mashiach? No, you got somebody else. You must be talking about somebody else. Yeah. yeah. We've got to keep hammering about Mashiach. We can't give up on that. Chas yeah. um, But Simcha, I just want to wish you that um, your. your what you're doing is absolutely amazing. Your, your musicality, your voice, your interpretation of a song is just a pleasure to listen to. I happen to be a belter myself. I love belting. And you're, you're a belter. I love listening to you belt out the high notes and just attack them without any fear. And um, just keep being positive and bring people simcha and uplift because that's, that's what it's all about. Yeah, and the, I, I don't know if some of the people watching this live are aware I'm going to be popping in at some point yeah. during the show. And it's a show. Um, I wasn't um, aware. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you. so someone please let the, yeah. <laughs> let the, the, the look forward actual, to it, uh, Simcha. Yeah. Looking forward it's to it, Mitzvah Hashem. And it's actually exciting. I haven't been in New Jersey for a concert in a long time. Beautiful. So thank, thank you, Avram Zamas, for putting us together in the Friendship Circle. And we hope to bring the house down to Mitzvah Hashem. In, in a good way. Simcha, thank Thank you so much for, for joining, and we'll see you on Amen. I get the vach, I get the Okay, everyone, so we're going we're gonna to wrap this up so you can get out of here. But um, nice. the one, nice. one last thing. First of all, I want to say the, that whoever won the trivia, I think his name was something collision, a city, <laughs> city, collision. city auto collision. Oh, uh, um, everyone, you know, to end this off, the floor is yours. The message, 40 years, the message you're trying to give over with your music summed up into one sentence. Let's, let's hear it. Well, you know, Shavuos is just around the corner, and in Chabad, the bracha we give each other is Kabbalah Satayra, the Simcha, or the Pnimius. First thing is Simcha. And then we can go on to internalizing the Torah and making it part of our lives in a real way. I could just read the Chukaisai that becomes Chakika, yeah. becomes imbued in us. And so I just want to wish everybody that uh, the first thing is Simcha. How do you get to Simcha? Someone asked me the other day, does Simcha bring the song, or does song bring simcha? Right. Interesting, uh, interesting question. I think there are both, we have both of those times in our life when we are besimcha, 
and then we sing and dance. Then there are times when we're not in the mood, and a song gets us in the mood. So the main bracha is that we should be besimcha. Hashem should give us reasons to be besimcha. We shouldn't have to pinch ourselves to be besimcha. It should come naturally, because we see Hashem's brachas in a revealed way, in a sweet way. And then the Torah will, will enjoy it, because it'll be a happy Torah, it'll be a living Torah, it'll be a dancing Torah. So, um, and what better way to be besimcha, like I said, is through song and through, through singing good songs and shvachim. And, um, of course, the main thing is we should be makabal the Torah together with Moshe Rabbeinu and Moshiach. Mm-hmm. And um, then we'll just get off the ground and never stop dancing and never stop singing. So mm-hmm. I look forward to the concert in Mitzvah Shem. See you there. I hope to see you there. Everyone can buy your tickets at fcconcert.com. You see Alvin Freed there. Some Chalana will be popping in. Um, I hopefully will be there dancing with you. Nice. And uh, Avramol, have a good evach. It's so nice to be on here with you. Richard, Nachi, thank, thank you. you. And keep bringing good news to all your many, many, many listeners. Oh, man, oh, man. Keep bringing good news. Thank you so much. All the best. Azak.